I'm going to show you how to hand close a pillow. Now this is a knife edge pillow, which means it's a, basically a front and a back with a welt cord sewn into the seam. So at the top of the pillow, you want to turn down, and you can see I've even pressed down my seam allowance, which was a half inch, and that folds under really neat, and then I can come over and match that up to the welt cord, and I'm gonna add a pin. And when I put the pin in, see that sharp point? I'm gonna tuck that back into the fabric so it doesn't stick me as I'm sewing. You have to sort of pinch it together and hold it tight. And then add another pin. Put the pins pretty close together so you don't have a gap. And then I'll add one more. So it's pinned across the top. Now I'm ready to sew. I'm going to use a hand quilting thread. I found this to be a great thread to use. It doesn't knot up or gather up. I'm using, I'm going to use a double strand. So I'm starting with a single strand. And I like to use a long needle. If you do quilting, you might prefer to use a short needle. So just use a needle that you're comfortable with the length. And I'm going to bring the two ends together and tie a knot. The double thread will make sure it stays secure. And I'm going to put that around my finger and twirl it off my finger. And that gives me a knot in the bottom. So I'm right-handed, so I'm starting over on the right-hand side. I'm going to open this up a little bit because I want to hide that knot. So I'm actually going to start backwards and go inside and come out right in the very edge of the pillow fabric. And that puts the knot underneath. And then I can start sewing. I'm taking a small stitch into the welt cord. Now I'm going to come straight down and stitch into the crease of the face fabric. And then into the welt cord. And you want to make sure that the stitching from the welt cord gets hidden. So you're going to stitch above that. And then come down straight. And this is like a ladder stitch. And then into the welt cord. And now I can take this pin out, holding it together with my thumb and finger. And I'm using a white thread so that you can see it on camera, but for a real pillow project, I would be using a thread that would match the fabrics, and then it would be completely invisible. If you pull too tight, you're going to get puckers. So I'm going to loosen that up, but you don't want to pull too tight, and you don't want it to be too loose or you'll get gaps. And then you can start speeding up after you get used to sewing and you have a little bit of a rhythm. And if you want to, you can take a few stitches and then, then pull them tight and then keep going. This is an easy way to close a pillow. It also gives you a pillow that is reversible front and back. If you had a zipper closure here, then you would want to put the pillow in the chair with the zipper to the back. This way, both sides are a front side. When you get to the end of your thread, and I can go along further, but I'm just going to show you how to put in a knot. You want to take a little bit of fabric onto the needle. And as you're pulling, leave a loop and put your needle into the loop and pull that down. That makes a knot. And then stab right next to the knot and go into your welt cord and pull that in. And that'll help hide your knot and then trim off your thread. And then you can get new thread, put a knot in your thread, and keep sewing across your pillow. And that gives you a beautiful finish. And if you want to, you either can press this or steam it slightly with an iron.